As new CEO, I benefited from two key initiatives that were undertaken by my predecessor, Janet Hurst. The first of those was the appointment of Dr. Squirrel Main as our Research Evaluation Manager. And the second was our participation in a survey conducted by the Centre for Effective Philanthropy, which was a benchmarking study of declined applicants and successful grantees. This work has allowed me to put in place a number of key strategies at the Foundation to ensure that we can fulfil our mission of being as effective a grant maker as we can possibly be. I was very lucky to inherit a staff that were very, very high quality. What I've done is really look to unburden the staff of administrative responsibilities, particularly the staff in the program management area. I've appointed additional support staff and really asked the program managers to lift the bar, um, to be the best they can be as program managers and to really focus on our core area of grant making, which is fundamental to what we do as a foundation. The survey conducted by the Centre for Effective Philanthropy demonstrated that we really needed to increase the minimum size of our grants. We needed to award 100% of a grant we decided to approve as a board, um, and that we needed to look at multi-year grants with effective KPIs incorporated into those grants. The research we conducted over the past year has shown that the size and duration of grants that we award is integral to the success with which those grants are then acquitted. As a result of this research, all but one program area has increased the minimum grant size that we consider and approve, um, and we are also very focused on the type of grant in particular program areas that we know to be effective, and these grants we are being most supportive of. A new initiative I introduced as CEO and which the board approved in April of this year has been the establishment of the major grants area. These large catalytic grants have been the cornerstone of what the Foundation has done in the past and a very recent example was the $10 million grant approved to the State Library of Victoria. The establishment of this major grants area allows the Foundation to really focus uh, effectively on our core program areas, protect the, the value of those core program areas, whilst also still pursuing those large catalytic major grants. In response to feedback and understanding the benefit of effective two-way communication, we've sought to undertake three key initiatives to improve grantee engagement. We're working with our grantees to improve our outreach. We're focusing on evaluation and dissemination of their grants. Uh, we're focusing on more effective and consistent communication with grantees through the period of their grant. And we're also focusing on effective use of social media to assist our grantees with their communication strategies. The Potter Foundation is a national funder. In reviewing our own work, we realised there were some areas nationally that we had not covered as well as we could have. Um, and for example, uh, we went to Perth earlier this year in an outreach program where we just decamped for a week. Took myself and the program management team to Western Australia and really had a conversation with WA. This is an example of where the Potter Foundation really had a great conversation with an area of Australia we now understand better the needs of that community and that community is better engaged with us as a foundation. In the next two fiscal years, fiscal 17 and 18, nearly 80% of our annual grant making is already committed. Uh, that means that we're likely to approve fewer larger grants in the next 12 to 24 months. But beyond 2018, it also means we can position ourselves to really look at those larger, impactful, strategic grants that we can then start to implement as our budget frees up. To this end, in the next 12 to 18 months, the team at the Potter Foundation will spend their time really getting to know our grantees well, really getting to know our program areas as well as we can, and to ensure that we are positioned to then be as effective a grant-making foundation as we can be uh, moving into 2018-19.